Premeditated murder, that's the ruling that came down today in a Shiawassee County courtroom against the man who admitted to killing and mutilating Kevin Bacon nearly three years ago. Mark Latunsky pled guilty to open murder last month. It was up to a judge to decide if he was guilty of first degree murder, second degree or manslaughter. From the evidence and testimony, the judge ruled the killing had been planned. And as you can imagine, the journey to get to this day has been especially hard for the friends and the family of Kevin Bacon, who on the night he died, thought he was going to meet a new friend he met on a dating app. TV 5 James Felton joins us in the studio with reaction from Bacon's loved ones. James. David and Elise, Kevin Bacon's father told us his son was turning his life around. He was planning on going back to school and he had just started a new job. Unfortunately, his life came to a sudden end because of Mark Latunsky. It's just in our best interest to see him in prison forever and um, I, I didn't want him out in public again. Carl Bacon is glad his son's killer will never live another day as a free man. Mark Latunsky, who already pled guilty in September to killing Kevin Bacon, is facing a mandatory sentence of life without the possibility of parole. This after the judge decided Latunsky's guilty plea would be for first degree murder. And even though Carl Bacon is getting justice, he says he's left with a lot of unanswered questions, with the most prevalent being what led his son into Latunsky's path. In December 2019, Bacon's mutilated body was found hanging from the ceiling in a secret room in Latunsky's home in the Shiawassee County community of Bennington Township. Besides admitting to Bacon's murder, Latunsky also said he ate part of Bacon's body. That's the difficult part as to why Kevin decided to do this when. Turns out this court hearing marked one of the few instances that Carl Bacon and Mark Latunsky were in the same room together. This felt weird, unusual. It just a little bit creepy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, 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 it was this, the guy just gives off, some, gives off some weird vibe. That's something Bacon may only have to experience one more time when Latunsky is sentenced in December. It's been a long road, and I'm glad we're, we're almost to the end of it. Um, we got one more, one more hearing to go, and I think hopefully then we can um, put, this, put this matter to rest. But nothing will bring Kevin back a fact that weighs heavily on this grieving father. I think about him every day. We both do. And, um, yeah, he's always in my thoughts. After the proceeding, Latunsky's attorney told us it is doubtful her client will ask for an appeal. David and Elise, back to you. James, thank you. Sentencing for Latunsky will take place in mid-December.